How to use the Spectrum Analyzer in Channel Lockout Facility with a Trio J Data Radio. The Spectrum Analyzer is a facility that allows users to observe interfering signals in the ISM band. In access point radios, channels that suffer from high levels of interference can be blocked out of the hopping pattern. The Spectrum Analyzer can only be accessed via the Text User Interface TUI. The Spectrum Analyzer in Channel Lockout Facility is not available on Brazilian compliant model types. Antenna Connection Bench testing is typically performed over short distances, so RF signals need to be significantly attenuated. Using dummy loads or whip antennas is not recommended. A suitable method for attenuation of RF signals is to use a 4-port RF attenuator. An attenuator accurately reduces RF signal level, simulating a real-world, long-distance RF link. Other types of RF attenuators can be used providing the total attenuation is between 80 dB to 100 dB. Check the attenuator power ratings against the configured transmit power of the radio. DC Power Connection Ensure each radio is wired using the correct polarity and that power supply is regulated and has adequate current delivering capacity. For other power supply options please refer to the user manual. Apply DC power to the radios. The radio will begin a boot up process. This process can take up to 2 minutes, once the boot up process has completed. The PWR LED should be solid green. Establishing communication with the Trio J data radio. Ensure the Trio J data radio has been factory cleared. The factory default IP address of the J data radios is 192.168.2.15. You will need to set the IP of your PC in the same range. For example 192.168.2.10 and default subnet mask. Connect your PC Ethernet port to one of the Ethernet ports. To verify you can communicate with the QR450 you should first ping the radio. Open up a command window on your PC by going to start. Click on run and type CMD. Then press OK. Now type ping 192.168.2.15 which is the default address of the radio. The radio should respond to the ping as shown below. Radio network configuration using a text user interface TUI. The text user interface can be accessed via Telonet. This is convenient if you are remotely connected to a JData radio via an Ethernet network. The Telonet interface requires much less bandwidth compared to the web user interface, which results in higher speed access to configuration parameters and diagnostics. Most computer operating systems come with integrated Telonet software. For Windows-based operating systems, you can initiate a Telonet session using the command line interface. The Telonet service can be enabled or disabled using the web user interface. Note, for Windows 7 and later you may need to enable Telonet in the configuration panel. To start a Telonet session, open a command window via Start and Run and type Telnet 192.168.2.15 Assuming the radio has the default IP address. Select Option B, Configuration and then Option B, Radio. Select option D, radio type, and set this to access point. Select option I, subnet ID, and enter. Trio. Escape to main menu. Select option F, security. Select option B, log in name, and enter. Schneider. Select option C, password, and enter. Electric. Select option D, Confirm password, and enter. Electric. Escape to main menu. Select I to activate changes, 
This can take up to 2 minutes to activate. Select option H, Spectrum Analyzer do a single sweep or repetitive sweep to analyze the 2.4 GHz spectrum. Note, when configured for Spectrum Analysis mode, only access point radios can exclude channels using the channel lockout facility. The Spectrum Analysis mode is a special mode of operation where the radio scans each channel and measures the level of signals, interference, received. For this reason, the Spectrum Analysis mode can only be initiated from a local connection, not remotely via the radio channel. Channel Lockout Facility The Channel Lockout Facility provides a mechanism for users to lock out channels. This allows the user to select a number of channels which will be excluded from the frequency hopping pattern. Using your left and right arrow keys, move the cursor over the channel number you wish to exclude and set the channel for exclusion using option E. Note that locked out channels are noted with a hash character. When finished, press the escape key which will return you to the programming interface. Now you know how to use the Spectrum Analyzer and Channel Lockout Facility with a Trio J Data Radio. Thank you for watching. For further information please visit www.schneider-electric.com or contact your local Schneider Electric representative.